let's take a look at the tens times tables. You might have noticed that for these numbers, I can write the same number with a zero after it, and that will be that number multiplied by 10. 2 times 10 is 20. 10 times 10 is 100. Why is that? Can we say, when you multiply by 10, stick a zero at the end? Will it always work? Our number system is based on 10. Each place is worth 10 times as much as the one to its right. 1 times 10 is 10. 10 times 10 is 100. And 100 times 10 is 1,000. Writing a zero at the end fills in the smaller place and moves the digit out to its higher place value, making it worth 10 times as much. It works for all whole numbers, all those facts. 3 times 10 is 30. 11 times 10 is 110. 745 times 10 is 7,450, but it doesn't always work. Now this is a little more advanced. If it doesn't make sense to you yet, don't sweat it. What if we had a number in between 2 and 3? 2 and a half, 2.5. 2.5 times 10 is 25. I need to move both digits to a bigger place. Notice 2 times 10 is 20, 3 times 10 is 30, 2 and a half times 10 is halfway in between it, 25. But don't get distracted. For the times tables facts, the zero at the end does the job. The legal stuff.